so he says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirits have you seen that he says once you make jesus the lord of your life you are snatched from the domain of darkness into the domain of god he says when that happens the condemnation of the devil is taken away from your life in other words you will not be placed under the condemnation of the devil and he goes on to say it is not enough to be born again that's why he said who walk not after the flesh but after the spirits meaning it is possible to be born again and still allow your flesh to govern and rule you he says when you become born again and then you allow your flesh to govern and then rule your being you will be placed under the condemnation of the devil which is hell move to verses 13 of the same chapter which is romans chapter 8 he says for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live hallelujah Amen. this is why i said to you yielding to the flesh will damage your destiny on earth as well as eternity hallelujah do not follow what is trending most of you your lives are carried about by what is trending this is what is trending now if you don't follow what is trending you are not guy follow what is trending and you end up in hell i'm not saying everything that is trending out there is evil but most of the things trending out there are satanic originated and this is why you must live your life under the influence of the holy ghost and know what is trending so if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body he says ye shall live allow the holy ghost to take control over your emotions most of you your problem is your emotions the devil knows that your problem is your emotions as a result of that he always appeals to your emotions and you always fall victim to his evil hallelujah so from the two bible passages we just finished reading yielding to the flesh will damage your destiny on earth as well as eternity jesus in john 15 said and any branch in me that does not bear fruits he says the father will cut it throw it into fire telling you if you are connected to him you must humble yourself allow his word to dominate your being he says when you do this you will bear fruits when you bear fruits the father will be proud of you he says if you are connected to him and then you bear fruits of the devil god will cut you off jesus and then throw you into fire to burn telling us it is not enough to be born again the born again experience is the starting point to a life that is glorious no wonder in revelation chapter 20 verses 11 to 12 the bible says i saw the dead small and great stand before god he says books were open and another book was open and this book that was open was the book of life he said the dead were judged based on their works meaning the life you live is important if you are born again let jesus be seen in everything you do don't dress in seducive way let your speech be full of love don't allow the world to influence your life whatever you do in this realm of life you will be judged one day if you're hearing the sound of my voice and you have been sleeping with your sister's husband stop it it will take you to hell 